All right, I'm here with Bubba Watson. Good morning, Long Ball. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Uh, all right, here's what I want to know. Uh, who cries more in golf? You, Ben Crenshaw, or Nancy Lopez? I cry a lot. They've won more than me, so they've probably <laughs> cried more than me, but um, I cry all the time. I cry um, just about anything. Where's that sensitive uh, Bubba side come from? Mom, dad, <sighs> I'd neighbor? Have to, I'd have to say dad for sure. Yeah? Yeah, dad. Uh, dad acted tough, but he was, he was real wimpy. So 2011, you, a bit of a breakout year for you. You won twice early part of the year. What, what, what was the key to you taking another step up? You know, watching my dad go through his disease and pass away, um, really figuring out in my life um, what I truly believe and what, um, what I should stand for and what I, um, what I want to do in my life made me realize that golf is just a game and it doesn't matter what negative press there is, what positive press there is, there's other things I do in my life. Right. You know, I got my mom to support, not support, I just support her with her, being her son, but right. I got my wife to support, um, to be my best friend. I got my friends, I've got all these other great things going for me. Who cares if I shoot 80, who cares if I shoot 60? Right. Truthfully, you know, right. my, my, my life is still gonna keep going no matter if I miss the cut, no matter if I'm playing on tour. When you see somebody like that go through something like that, and, and I, need to, I need to be, uh, feel how lucky I am and how blessed I am to, to be healthy and, and be able to play golf like this. So losing your dad had a sobering effect on your golf game this year? For sure, year? for sure. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I shoot. Yeah. It, it truly doesn't, you know, it's, my wife is happy. We're paying our bills on time. We're, um, we're out here doing things. We're, we're helping juniors. We're helping uh, raise money for charities. We're doing these lot of great things off the golf course. Um, I mean, yeah, I was serious on the golf course and I wanted to do better. Right. I didn't want to just coast through the golf. But, right. but I, so I've got more serious, I got more focused. But at the same time, when I leave the golf course, it was more about my family and what I'm doing. It's a learning experience, but yeah. It's a big adjustment too, isn't it? Well, to... when the camera's around, you're like this guy over here. You know, <laughs> when, the camera's, when the camera's on you, it's different. You know, right. this is, I'm that guy, yeah. that's who I am. But right. the golf, the world of golf, yeah. with the Golf Channel now, and with social media, with all these things, it's different. I have to learn that. I have to learn that everybody's watching. I have to learn that not to be nervous around a big right. crowd. So I have right. to learn all these things. I have fears just like anybody else. I'm not, a, I'm not Superman. Right. And so golf is just what I do for a living, but I do a lot of other things that I just don't make money at. All right, your buddy Tiger Woods, how much will he be able to reclaim of his glory years? He used to be a five-win guy. Where, moving forward, where do, you, where do you see from him? The answer that nobody can predict is yes, he can get back there because- All the way back? He's a stud athlete, yes. I think he can, but with that being said, you have to look at the talent level that we're at. You know, you got Roy McIlroy, you got Ricky Fowler, you got Keegan Bradley now, you got Webb Simpson now. You got all, there's so many, there's too many names to name. The landscape has changed. It's right? just, yeah, and there's more people now. So on paper, it looks like, no, there's no way. But if there's one thing you can't put past them, it's coming back better than ever. Right. Uh, you play practice rounds with Tiger Woods, mm -hmm. and you guys jab each other, yeah, give definitely. each other, well, 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 give, me, give, me, give me an example of what you'll say to Tiger Woods, he'll say to you. You know, yeah. I, I, can, I can hit it past him. And, um, I'd always like, man, you wish you could hit it that far, don't you? And he'd go, you know, the only W you'll ever have is in your last name. And, um, and then I finally got three, I got, I got a win. I got three wins now, but, but you know, now it's just, I can't get to 71 like he is or wherever he's at. The pink shaft, do you, uh, does that get attention to you? Do uh, you, you gotta be kind of a, a, a macho man inside, feel comfortable in your own skin to, to have a pink shaft, no? Yeah, and that, that comes back to, I'm not worried about what people think. There you go. You know. Um, I'm not very pretty, but somehow I got my wife to marry me and she said I do. And um, so, you know, it's one of those things where if you got a good personality and yeah. you're, you're comfortable, I Speaking guess. Speaking of your wife, Angie, she played pro basketball. Do you guys play basketball against each other? And <laughs> who wins if you do? The first time we ever played, she beat me in a uh, game of uh, around the world, three pointers. Yeah. And then um, we haven't played basketball lately because um, injuries and she, you know, she's, she's had a lot of um, yeah. surgeries. But now she loves golf and we do water sports. So we do other things now. All right, so a college <laughs> degree. You went back and got your college degree. What does yeah. that mean to you? It means a lot. You know, for me to go and, and tell these juniors, when I have two junior tournaments and do clinics for these kids, I needed to prove to them that, that yes, you can be a pro golfer, you can make decent money, but you need to get your education just in case something happens. And so for me to go back and, and show them and prove to them that you can do it, yeah. it, it means a lot. All right, good. Good to see you. Yeah, man.